Ready to elevate your mindset? Now it's time for What Would Go-Go Do? Tennis Springer underscore realtor. What's the blueprint for the best team structure? So, Tana, to be honest with you, I'm not sure I qualify to answer this question. I have a cute little adorable team with two Web3 agents in Michigan called Grat or Gogo's Real Estate Team. Here is my idea behind it. I never had the... What, I'm going to use the word idea again. I never had the idea of wanting to grow a mega icon team. I don't want to run an adult daycare. I am not the world's best manager by any means. Being Eastern European, I make people cry on a daily basis by noon, right? So I do not want to have a massive team ever. The reason why I have a team is because I want to, so said, monetize on my organic leads. So think of it this way. Even my team, I don't have an office. I don't buy leads. I don't have overhead. I like to joke and say, I don't even own a printer for my team, right? I don't even live in the state where my team is at. I live in Tampa or, or close to Tampa down here in Florida, but my team is up in Livingston County, Michigan. So with that being said, my two cents on the subject is do it until it's very, very profitable. So since I don't have expenses, any income that I make on the team, it's pretty much 100% profit for me, right? So that's how I always build. I want to build businesses where I don't have a high cost. If you look at some of these mega icon teams or these brokerages, yes, they bring home millions of dollars in GCI, or I should say, they make millions of dollars of GCI, but if they break a 15 to 20% profit, they are balling. So if they made a million dollar GCI with a 15% um, whatever it's like profit rate, right? Like we are talking $150,000. You can be a solo agent, do 15 transactions at 10,000 piece uh, commission and you're at 150,000. You do not have to get into that much expense, that much liability, that much overhead to make 15% profit. So I don't like to run business that way. That's why I run a cute little adorable team at max three agents at a time. Um, the most successful year we ever had was close to 500,000 GCI, 490 something. I wasn't even in the state. I don't have overhead. I don't buy leads. Um, and that's my story and I stick it to it, right? So I'd rather have a cute little team with much larger percentage of profit than a massive team with a lot of liabilities and overhead and 15% profit. So that's just me. How do I do the splits and the value add? Well, why do, pe why do agents actually need a team in my opinion? Because they haven't learned to lead generate or if they're good at lead generation, but they're not good maybe at follow-up or they're not good at system. So that's my experience with the agents that I had on my team. Or they would, they couldn't lead generate if you put a gun to their head, right? But they were really good at following through and getting the, the clients that we gave them and getting them to the closing table. Or they could get a client's left and right, but if you ask them if they wrote the addendum or when are, when are we closing, they couldn't answer you, right? Because they needed you for the structure. So I feel like there's two types of agents that are usually on a team. And at least those are my experiences, right? And uh, you're going to be able to keep them as long as they need one of those two things, or they need leads or they need structure, right? And that's what you provide as a team lead, right? You provide them what they need in order for them to be successful, because if they try to do it on their own, they would fail because they're missing one or the other. As for the splits, I do a 50-50 split on the buy side and the 60-40 on the listing side, because on the listings, me as a team lead, I have a little bit more expenses with the yard signs, the broker opens, those kind of things. And uh, for the value add is like, what do you bring to the table as the team lead, right? Like, are you available for them to, are you teaching them to negotiate? Are you teaching them to get better as agents? Are you giving them resources? Do you have an in-house VA? Do you have a transaction coordinator? Do you, buy, do you provide photography and closing gifts and these kind of things, which I do, everything that I just mentioned here. So that's my answer to Tana Springer at Tana Springer underscore.